be a wonderful weekend to get outside. John Milan here with the forecast. You're not taking any credit for this, though, John. What's up? Uh, you, would you like me to? Sure. Oh, okay. I take credit for today and yesterday. <laughs> Jesse Ricca is right behind me right here in the Weather Center is taking credit for the weekend because there's storms in the forecast. For the <laughs> Way to go, coming. John. That's nice Wait. of you. Yeah, I, I, just <laughs> threw on, I just threw her under the bus. What a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody watch my back. Yeah. <laughs> Katie, watch my back. She could be storming out of the weather center any moment. 74 degrees for tomorrow. <laughs> Closer to the lake, 78 inland with a chance of a shower or thunderstorm. Not an all-day rain. Most of the storms would be in the afternoon. And on Sunday, again, most of the day is dry, although cooler, breezy, 68 degrees. And a little pop-up isolated shower possible. You can see the cooler air right here behind a front and a low pressure system racing in. We had a high of 77 earlier today. Dew point still not too bad in the mid 50s. So we're not looking at any really tropical air. It's sunny in 73 right now in Milwaukee with that 55 dew point in southeast winds. A little breezy, 17 miles per hour. But you get away from the lake near 80 in Waukesha, 83 Burlington, 82 in Whitewater, 82 in Fond du Lac. But of course cooler near the lake. Nothing going on on our Storm Max radar. There was a couple of sprinkles trying to get into the northwest corner of Fond du Lac County, but check it out. Severe thunderstorm warnings just to the east of Eau Claire, just to the northeast of La Crosse. These storms are moving basically east northeast, so targeting Green Bay if they hold together, but not targeting us at this point. You can see a large upper air disturbance and a cold front rolling in our direction. We could see some of that for mainly tomorrow. So overnight tonight, slim chance of a stray shower very, very late. That squall light dies out, but redevelops in the afternoon on Saturday. And we could see some storms around right through six o'clock. Some evening showers and storms still possible. The cool air rolls in on Sunday and notice you could see a pop up shower. So for tonight, essentially clear early. Partly to mostly cloudy late. It could see a stray shower or storm late overnight low 60 degrees. For tomorrow, small chance of a morning shower, then a better chance in the afternoon of showers and storms. 74 degrees with 78 inland. And it cools down, a little breezy on Sunday, mostly cloudy, isolated showers in a high of only 68 degrees. Here's your Storm Team 4 seven day forecast on Monday. Some sunshine, small chance of a shower, 73, 68 with a shower into Tuesday and then towards the end of the week we start another warm up on Thursday 76 degrees and up to 78 degrees with a shower on Friday. Jesse Ricka standing there with a book in her hand. I'm, I don't think I'm welcome back in the weather. <laughs> well, at least it's not a rock. <laughs> okay, thanks John. <laughs>